Hey everybody, it's Latoya Silman, and um, I wanted to just talk to you about something that um, was in one of our newscasts today. We talk all the time, daily, um, about the economic plight that so many of us are up against right now, especially in the age of, of COVID. And we had a story just um, not too long ago that we ran that really, it didn't shock me, but it certainly caused me to just be a little sad. Um, according to this one report, more than 60% of Americans say that their emergency savings will run out or they've already run out of their savings already this year, obviously because of COVID. And um, it made me think about one of the reasons why I'm so um, passionate about talking about personal finances, making sure we have all of our ducks in a row, and savings is a huge part of that. And one of the reasons why I love talking about this outside of what I do every day at work is because it really does affect every single person. And I've been on the other side of it. I've been one of those people who didn't really save. You know, I put off saving time after time after time and I would go instant gratification, the shopping and, you know, charging dumb stuff like groceries, you know, or charging going to the movies. I did that when I was younger, so I get it. Um, obviously, people are making some very desperate decisions right now, not because they want to go to the movies, um, but because of necessity. I know that very well, too. Uh, when I first started in um, the news business, I was very broke. I was robbing Peter to pay Paul. But I got to tell you, I wish that my older self could have somehow told my younger self, stop it now. Um, it's so important to save. And so many times we tell ourselves this lie that we'll have time, we'll have time, we'll have time. But look where we are today. No one could have ever predicted that one day working on the strip wouldn't be financially lucrative or that your job will be in jeopardy, right? Because the Las Vegas Strip, I mean, it's, if you pre-COVID, it was always hopping. It was always popping on the strip. Everybody comes to Vegas. But when the pandemic happened, it shut down too. Who would have ever thought that we would see the NBA, the NFL, everything just come to a halt as it did. But this was like the great equalizer, the pandemic. So if you're still working, if you have a dollar to your name, save it. I cannot stress it enough. I cannot stress it enough. Uh, we have been shown and proven that the worst can and will happen. And you know what? It won't stop with COVID. There will be something else. I mean, remember when we thought the 2008 um, debacle with everything shutting down with banks calling in, you know, people's loans and stuff. We thought that was going to be the worst. When we had that financial downturn, when we were in that recession, we thought, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever. People were losing their homes left and right. But here we are with the pandemic of 2020 and we're seeing a lot worse than that. We're seeing some people literally become homeless because of this. We've seen people, so many of them lose their lives because of this. And we don't know when the end will be in sight. That's just the bottom line. So if you're watching this right now, not trying to scare you because what will be will be, but try to do everything that you can to, to put yourself in a better position. You know, um, as the Bible says, you reap what you sow. So now is the time to reap. If you are still working, start saving. Um, I know that a lot of people, there's a joke about how many people go on Amazon and their business is booming because people are bored. Now's not the time to go on shopping sprees. We still don't know when the end of this thing is going to be near. So that said, I highly recommend, as does Dave Ramsey, that you at least set aside at least three to six months of your uh, monthly expenses. Now he says three to six. I'm really going to caution you and encourage you to go more toward the six because we just don't know. As you saw from that report, more than 60% of Americans say that their savings is going to last to the end of this year. We're in what, month seven, I think, of this pandemic. So um, think about that and, and let that be the sobering reminder to do everything that you can to, to save now. As a matter of fact, I talk about saving on my blog, LatoyaSilman.com. I have several things on savings plans. I have money myths that we all need to bust. And the fact that you can save for later, that you can always save for later, that is a myth that we need to stop in its tracks and to ignore at all costs. So uh, go to my blog on uh, www.latoyasilman.com and you can learn more there. 
And in the meantime, just take heed and um, do what you can. Do what you can to put yourself in a better financial position. Don't wait on Washington to do it. Save yourself. All right, have a good one.